Blessed be. My name is Lady Maris and welcome to the Circle of Hecker. And don't fall into the trap of mainstream media fear-mongering. Now there is a quote by Adolf Hitler. Make the lie big, make it simple, keep saying it, and eventually they will believe it. We have fear, and terror is designed to ignite fear within us. And we know that fear is basically false evidence appearing real. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. I will face my fear. I will permit it to pass over me and through me. And when it has gone past, I will turn the inner eye to see its path. Where the fear has gone, there will be nothing. Only I will remain. Now, when you have information that has been bombarded to you into your subconscious mind that you aren't consciously aware of, so let's see uh, your Facebook feed. You're scrolling through your Facebook feed. You're not consciously looking at a lot of things. Maybe every now and again you'll go, oh, pretty cat, that's, cool. that's nice. But you aren't consciously looking at things. Your subconscious, on the other hand, is sucking all that information in. It's the same as when you're watching the television or even listening to the television. You are getting those inf that information, you're getting those signals, you're getting that information into your subconscious mind, even if you are consciously just making dinner. All of that information comes in. Now, what happens is that information is designed to put you into a state of fear. And when you're in a state of fear, your mind goes into the reptile mind. So it's that fight or flight, it is that part of the brain that is about survival, okay? So you are pushed into that reptile part of your brain, and we also call that base consciousness, okay? So base consciousness is when you're thinking about base needs, you are stuck in a solid, solidified uh, mode of thinking. And if you think of uh, base consciousness as a wave, it is that slow meandering wave that is stuck in solidity and it can't move very fast. It's just, uh, okay, so base consciousness is in that, that area. Information is, that's only coming in is to do with your survival and whether I should run or whether I should fight. There is no critical thinking. So if you have a look at this little uh, picture here, we have the reptile brain, we have what's known as the mammalian brain, where we have um, emotion is part of that. So we have mostly, we will be stuck in the reptile brain when it comes to fear, but emotion will be there too. And then we have the neocortex, which is the part which has critical thinking. Now, when you're in a state of fear, all of that critical thinking stage, all of that critical thinking area shuts down, okay? You are basically in survival and emotion. And that's not a good place to be. When it comes to owning your own mind, you want to be using the whole part of your brain, the whole part of your mind. And if you're in a state of fear, you are not thinking critically, you are not thinking for yourself, someone else owns your mind and they are pulling the strings. So when you have continuous over and over and over again, that state of fear in that subconscious mind, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, let's lash out, let's, uh, let's just be animals. What we want to do is raise our vibrations, get out of that state of fear, get out of base consciousness, get out of the reptile brain and start using our whole brain. 
starting to raise our consciousness, getting out of base consciousness and going up to super consciousness, godlike consciousness, where we will be vibrating at a higher rate, where we will be seeing more of what is true, what is real. So when you are vibrating at a low vibrationary rate, when you are vibrating in a state of fear, you affect the area around you. And you affect that area around you in a negative way, in a feeding negativity into the space around you. We live in a sea of energy. Now that energy can be changed, it can be manipulated. I'm sure you've been in a room and it's been happy, it's been great, everyone's uh, vibing off of each other and then one person comes in who is a big cloud of doom and then they talk to one one person and then they're kind of down and then you've got two clouds of doom and then you've got another and then you've got another and eventually that whole room is now a big cloud of doom the energy of that room has been changed so that not only is it vibrating at a lower rate, also the people within that room are vibrating at a lower rate. So it is as within, so without. As without, so within. So when you have a collective of people all in fear, all in base consciousness, all affecting the area around them. So everyone they come into contact with then gets the disease of fear, so to speak. You then affect that area around you. You affect that area around them. And they in turn affect that area around them. So that it just feeds out in a, in a almost like a virus of fear. More and more people. And that is the area around them. That is that energetic, that e electric sea of energy that is around them. So the more that that's infected, the more people that are living in that area become affected. They begin to change. If you want to kill a fish, you change the water that it lives in. Or put it a different way. If you want to change the animal, change the environment that it lives in. So with the idea of fear, we need to turn it on its head. So it is up to you. Change yourself first. Once you have gotten yourself changed, then you help others. So change happens from within. So you change your mindset, change what you're bringing into yourself, what you're thinking about, what you're watching, what you're reading. Be mindful of those things that you are watching and reading and also be mindful of what you're thinking and how you're thinking and how your reactions, are they my reactions or are they the reactions of someone else because I've been given information that may be wrong. So thank you for staying with me for the first instalment of Cleaning the Temple, Cleaning the Mind. I look forward to seeing you in the next instalment where we will start on the body. Merrily we meet, merrily we part, and merrily we meet again. I'm Lady Amaris, blessed be.